I've been using these eyedroppers to water my plants. Some of them need like eight or ten droppers full. So I saw these larger droppers and I thought, well, I should use those instead. Then I'd only have to do four or five. This top one is labeled one milliliter, this the line right here, on the one I was using. On the one I was going to switch to, here's one milliliter, here's two, and here's three. So, naively I thought that if I used the bigger one it would water things faster. Here's what I found though. I'll use some green food color so that you can see. When I squeeze this, that's how much I get. Now when I squeeze this, I get just above the two milliliter mark. So let me compare the, the little one and try to suck it up with the big one. The big one, used normally and easily, does not hold as much as the little one. If I really squeeze down on the bulb, then I can get most of the liquid up into the big one. But really, it only fills up at most to the three milliliter mark. Whereas the little one, when I squeeze the bulb, okay, it didn't quite get it all, but it fills up into the bulb. So it fills up more than a milliliter. And that, as it turns out, is about three milliliters, which is hard to get in this. I think if the plastic were a little bit stiffer, it would work. So if these two were the same brand, this would probably hold more. But because they're not, this is a thinner plastic and it's harder to squeeze. So if I just give it a normal squeeze, okay, I got almost three milliliters there. But this, because the plastic is a little firmer, easily takes up all of that and could take up a little bit more. So this delivers more liquid when used in the standard way. Now when I squeeze this, the big one, used normally and easily, does not hold as much as the little one.